Hello everybody, Philip Meyer from Mandra and Dilla here. Uh, it was quite a long time since uh, I, gave the last, uh, I gave the last update and I thought it's quite a good possibility to do it now. We are three to four days before our last day of this grazing season. Things worked out fine for us. Uh, we are five days plus this year, means we have five days more, more uh, green growth that our animals consumed to produce high quality meat. That's a good situation. We have grown our herd by around 10 to 20 percent. I have to do the math on that because a few animals uh, went during the summer, so I have to see how this was last year. Uh, we have, which is cool, uh, learned something from last year. Last year we consumed uh, the main proportion of the of the feed that was on our field directly before the stop of our vegetative season, which is in average with the middle of October, means our our pastures did not get too much rest before they went dormant, and that's often a problem then in spring because they don't start to green up start to green up that quickly as they could. So now we have pastures and quite a few of them that are. Uh, 60 or 50 to 60 days rested and I hope to go next year to not only extend towards the winter or autumn our grazing season but to start earlier and so we get a few more days there there and every day that we get is money saved and that's a cool thing um, our hyphas are still out there and they are not just for a little while out there they are out there till most likely the middle of November, means we are going in with our first stockpile grazing attempt. And things look really good. We have green grass growing there, really in a vegetative, nice state, high quality. It will be interesting to see how uh, the quality goes down the colder the nights get when frost comes. How does this affect the quality of the grass? Um, is it necessary then to supplement? How do the animals perform? A lot of questions, but also a lot of possibilities. And money is saved again. All right, so this is cool. And the next thing that we try to do this winter is to go to pale grazing. And uh, I have a friend of mine, very talented person, our neighbor, will uh, build us a, a mandrendilla lookalike of the uh, Greg Judy microbial feeder means a device to unroll pails on our farm. Unroll pails on areas that are, yeah, that fit for pail grazing means that they carry the animals well also in winter time, and areas that need a little bit more of nutrition to improve their soil fertility. So, stockpile, uh, stockpile graze, pail grazing and the, uh, hopefully the earlier start of the grazing season. These are things that have improved together with the uh, density of plants per square meters on many parts of our pasture. We also moved one of our pastures from last year, mainly basically uh, quite weedy uh, with Canopodium alba to a state where it is now beautiful uh, red glover and Timote uh, and other beautiful and, and highly nutritious plants growing there. So to a state from pioneer state to a, to a succession-wise higher developed state. Yes, so good things are happening. I'm blessed uh, that I can make this journey. I'm blessed that I, that I have some audience that I can share it with. And I wish you all a good autumn. I will work on improving the quality of our videos so that your time in watching them is well spent. And with this, I sign, I sign up, uh, I sign off from this short uh, update from Andre and Dilla and wish you a good one. Bye.